Okay, no stress. Totally prepared for this test. Okay, last name, easy. See, doing great so far. First name, duh. <laughs> okay. Race? Uh, well, uh, I'm Latina. I mean, I I'm not black. I mean, I'm like tan, but I wouldn't identify as Afro-Latina. Pacific Islander? Is Puerto Rico in the Pacific? Uh, Jesus Christ, of course it's not. Get a grip, Christina. Wait, am I white? But if I'm white, then that would mean that I benefit from white privilege. You're not the only Latina to have a tough time with this question. Having some privileges in life doesn't make you a bad person. But let's stop the clock on this test and answer a question that only gets tougher with time. Can Latinos benefit from white privilege? This is the cat call and I'm... I'm calling this shit out. Let's set something straight. There is no standard Latino look. We come from different countries, different ethnic backgrounds, speak different languages, and heck, we'll even cook the same dish a thousand different ways. In fact, the word Latino was originally defined by being from a certain region of the world, what the French first called Latin America. So even since the word was invented, it's encompassed people of European, Caribbean, African, and indigenous American heritage. So can Latinos benefit from white privilege? The short answer is yeah. Duh. For example, not only do light-skinned Latinos dominate being on TV, remember? But countries like Brazil and Cuba supported policies that actively widen their population. And countries like Mexico deliberately ignore their Afro-Mexican population in the national census till 2015. But when it comes to Latinos living in the United States, the answer can get a little complicated. But let's start with, what does it mean to be white? I've met Latinos with skin whiter than Jorge Ramos's scalp. And that's because when European colonizers came to the Caribbean and Latin America, they brought their light eyes, pasty skin, and some weird ass diseases. Many light-skinned Latinos today exhibit features that are or sometimes pass as white in the US. This means some Latinos do experience white privilege. White privilege doesn't mean you're automatically a bad person. It just means that you might not face certain obstacles because of the way you look. I know what it's like to be discriminated as a woman and as a Latina. And even though I've never passed as a white woman, I also know what it's like for people to privilege me based on my proximity to whiteness. Like this one time, my Afro-Puerto Rican friend was dating a white guy and his family asked him why he couldn't date a Latina more like me. That's code for, we'd rather you not date someone who's black. And if that's something that we want to change, denying it isn't the answer. Acknowledging that white privilege exists and acknowledging the ways in which we benefit from it is the first step. That said, if there's anything that old people with shopping carts has shown us lately, sometimes the color of your skin isn't enough to make you white when you're speaking a different language. Speak English, you're in America. <laughs> speak English, bitch. It's America. We speak English, English in America. Yeah. So it's tough because white Latinos can often benefit from the privileges of being white only to find out that they aren't white enough when a cultural identifier makes them stand out from non-Latino white Americans. Like when you're the only Ramirez in your kindergarten class, or you pick up your phone on your lunch break in Spanish, or you're the only one in your workplace who knows that Shakira hasn't always been blonde. But that doesn't mean that white or white passing Latinos still don't engage in racist behavior towards dark skin or black Latinos. Parece del elenco de, del planeta de los cisnes de la película. <laughs> ¿Qué, qué es These unchecked stereotypes are the reason why one neo-Nazi website recently decided to start publishing in Spanish. Because they hope that racial division and white supremacy can continue thriving in Latin America. But newsflash, if arguing over which one of these is a limón hasn't divided us, nothing will. The truth is, almost a quarter of Latinos living in the US identify as Afro-Latino. And most Latinos will find a mix of racial, ethnic, and national identities in their family tree that might not always be expressed in their skin color. There's a reason why a growing number of Latinos are marking other when asked about race on the census. So many that the census is actually changing the way they ask the question. But even though you might not feel Taylor Swift white, it's important to realize that being a white Latino in the US means that sometimes you aren't on the receiving end of racism in this country. And you can 
actually help perpetuate it. So how can we fix this? It's important to elevate Latino voices that aren't always included in our history, our politics, or our entertainment. Privilege isn't automatically a bad thing. It's all about what you do, or rather what you don't do with it that counts. Like if you use your advantages to support those who are typically silenced. So we need to respect the validity of racial, linguistic, and ethnic differences throughout Latin America. Even if that means checking your friends and family on racist stereotypes or reminding yourself that your heritage is more than just your skin color. Look, multiculturalism means that sometimes our identity isn't as easy as checking black or white. Which is exactly what makes filling out these little bubbles that much harder. Right, exactly. Think of it more as a trick question. Your answer on paper means less than what you do with it. Wow, thank you. Look, I really appreciate this, but I was supposed to start the multiple choice section like halfway through this video. So how much do you know about particle physics? Oh, I'm sorry, girl. You're on your own. Wait, I thought you were gonna help me. Good luck. Did no one see her? Shh, no one? Whoa, well, thank you for watching. Now that you've made it this far, why don't you leave me a comment down below telling me what actions do you take to break down racism within the Latino community? I'm reading.